are too old to be running. When I run off, you leave me alone. You leave me be. You go take your cricket knees and you go sit the down in your rocking chair and you go knit me a sweater. That's what you go do. Don't chase me around. <laughs> It's like, okay, every every time I get on here, it gets worse. It's like four o'clock in the morning. But I just, I really, cause my goal this week is like to get out three videos. It was spring break and I'm like, fucking, I ain't doing shit else. So I was like, I need to, I, I was supposed to film this yesterday, but y'all know me. A bitch gonna procrastinate, levitate, and evaluate and accentuate whatever the fuck she need to do. Anyway, so, hi, welcome back to my channel, heart. Oh shit, heart was a little crunchy this time. It's the heart harding. Is the heart hurting? Do I have pimple patches on the side of my face? Yes, I'm not perfect. And neither is your mom's macaroni salad. Don't worry about me. Worry about the leftovers you're gonna be eating for three days. Thank y'all. Anyway, uh, so as y'all saw by the title of this video, we're gonna be talking about why the elderly suck, AKA how, you know, the time that my grandma had chased me out the house. So, uh, cause you know, I just, I love trauma dumping on here. Why not? You know, you feel me? Anyway, so I told this story on TikTok or whatever. You guys seem to kind of like it on TikTok or whatever. So I'm just gonna tell it on here because I'm gonna give y'all the long extended version because I gave y'all the short sweet version right there. Yeah. Cause y'all y'all get the extended extended warranty like on a car put that bitch in gear and then park that hoe. Yes, yeah, so let's get into it. So this takes back circa I was like 12, 13. I was 13. Anyway, so me and my mom and my brother or whatever, we were all staying at my grandmother's facilities. When we were staying, okay, I'm gonna say it like this. And if she ever sees this, she she knows in her soul, I'm telling the truth. My grandma is a little dodo, it's a little bit. But you know, old people be like that sometimes. So am I blaming you? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. My grandma has done, I'm not even gonna lie. My grandparents suck. Yeah, my grandma isn't like, she's not like the great, like, you know what? I was one of those grandmas, that, like you come over to her house, she be like, are you hungry, baby? Or she got cookies, or she got food, or she be trying to feed you. And you know, the ones that like baby you and shit, I've always wanted that. I got this. Oh my God, this is garbage. Um, anyway, my grandma couldn't cook at all. It was really bad. My grandma used to get like, she buys groceries from Dollar Tree. So like her milk used to be like orange juice. Like, you know how orange juice got pulp and stuff? In it. I don't, I, milk ain't supposed to have pulp. In, look, I just, that's just church going lady, reads the Bible, praise Jesus, amen, and then be the craziest motherfuckers. But yeah, all of that. I just want to give you a rundown. Just, to, I'm going to say it like this. She's mental, but she don't know she's mental. You know what I'm saying? She lacks the self-awareness to understand that something's wrong. Okay, great. So anyway, we were staying at my grandma's house and my mom went to go sit outside with her best friend, right? My mom went to go sit outside in the car and my grandma was helping my brother with his homework, right? I'm in the back back room because it was like a two bedroom apartment i'm in the back room and i was minding my business right and i was on my phone you know back when musically was the thing and you know the girls was the girls was giving and then you know and then you know you do the slow motion thing we get to shaking i'm gonna see if i can find one of my old music leads. i'm gonna put it in here i always want a paradise i always want a paradise huh? Yeah, she was a musically queen. So, oh, this is before Vine went down the shitter. Oh, I'm old. Ew. Not me reminiscing on my age. Gross. So, she was in there and I was minding my business on the musically, you know. Dun, 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 dun. There was not a song on there. That was not a song on there. So, I hear my grandma has like no patience, like at all. Especially for my younger brother or whatever when it comes to like simple math and stuff. Because you know how like people be making them, um, them memes where I talking about some. If Johnny had three apples, it was given the girls very much Johnny had three apples, but my brother couldn't calculate the three apples plus two watermelons minus a banana. You know what I'm saying? So she was in there pretty much having a, a whole spat. Oh my God, if Johnny had three, I'm just like, oh my God, she's causing the scene and i don't know why i can't never just let shit i just i can never leave shit alone so of course i went in there being nosy because i'm like why are you yelling and i just hate that like you're not gonna yell at him like calm down it's never that sorry if anybody's gonna yell at him it's gonna be me period if anybody's gonna bully him or give him a hard time it's me don't try to stay in your lane and help with these math problems and move on you hear me like i went in there trying to be nosy right i go in there i'm like 
what the fuck do you have going on, Miss Thing? And then she's there, she's sitting there and she's like, and she pretty much told me to mind my business. <laughs> Don't ever in your life tell me to mind my business because I'll never fucking do it. So I was like, okay, you're being weird. So I'm gonna go tell my mama because my mama gonna handle you. I can't handle you because I'm like 13. But my mama, she gonna, she gonna put the work on you because I'm, I'm not gonna do it. But she gonna handle you. So I was like, okay, I'm just going outside to my mama because this motherfucker who had to. Mm, mm, mm. So I go to the door, right? And I'm like, okay, I know my mom's sitting outside, so let me go to the door. I go to the door, the door's locked. I said, I said, where's mom? And then she was like, she's outside. Da -da -da -da. I said, Okay, I'm like, fine, okay. I said, if she's sitting outside, why is the door locked? Shit escalated real fast. It went from 10 to 20 fucking thousand real quick. Because it's my house, and if I want the door locked, I'm gonna lock the door. Don't worry about me. Why are you, why are you always being so disrespectful? I don't know why you questioning me. Dude, if I want the door locked, the door finna be locked. I said, whoa. Look, Susan. Susan, Carol, is it? Karen? <laughs> I'm gonna need you to calm down because we're up here and I need you to toot that bitch down because I don't understand why we're having an issue. And I'm like, I hate, I hate being yelled at, bro. So I was like, I hate it, like, oh my God. And I'm just like, one, I don't like being yelled at, period. And then on top of that, you're yelling at me for something stupid as fuck. So now I'm mad, you know what I'm saying? But I kept my composure. And then I did talk back, but I talked very monotone. I wasn't even yelling. And I was like, I don't understand. I said, I'm just asking why the door is locked. That's all I said. I said, I'm just asking. This motherfucker got up. I said, God, please don't let me have to lay the pause on her. Because you know I'll do it. I'll age ain't nothing but a number. Going down ain't nothing but a thing. You know what I'm saying? Aaliyah didn't see that song for nothing. I whoop everyone's ass. The elderly, children. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm a little weary of motherfuckers my age and a little older. I don't know. Y'all got a little strength behind you, like crackhead strength. And I can't I can't take down no damn crackhead. So she, st she stood up real fast. I said, hold on. Girl, now your knees work? I thought she was weak in the knees. I thought your back hurt and stuff. What are you, what's going on? What, what are we doing? Hold on. Hold on. And so she got up and she just kept yelling. And I said, I'm literally just asking, why is the door locked if she's outside? She ran up on me. I said, what? I'm t full forced gorilla mode. I said, harambe. Ah! And so she's walking up on me. Boom, boom, boom. I said, hold on. I didn't wear wigs at the time. I was wearing box braids. But it actually, I was wearing box braids, but the box braids, they had no more boxes in them. They was just loose-ass, goosey-ass braids. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And you know that fight or flight shit? I was like, I'm about to beat her ass. Like, I'm not, what the fuck? She got in my face. Like, she ran up on me, and she got off my face like this. I said, back the fuck up. And then she was yelling in my face. And now, and now I'm feeling disrespected. You know what I'm saying? And, and, what, do, and what do I say? I don't tell take disrespect i don't so you're yelling in my face so i started yelling back in that face don't fucking don't one don't yell at me two don't get in my fucking face and you finna do something and if you really want it i'm talking about she's so close this motherfucker is spitting in my fucking face hocking loogies and shit she all in my face where i can literally see her fucking tonsils i don't think she has any tonsils i saw her fucking tonsils and i'm like okay we're a little too close for comfort and then you're yelling on top of that i got this hot ass mothball breath in my face you're spitting your old elderly spit and on top of that you're ugly so like what <laughs> Just like, oh my god. So she's in my face yelling and so I'm like, girl, no. So I'm yelling back in her face. I'm really just asking. Oh my god. And then she was like, don't get loud with me. I was like, okay, but you're already getting loud. So I thought it was it takes two to tango. And you look like you needed a dance partner. So I was like, that's what it's giving. So I'm like, if it's giving, I'm gonna give what it's supposed to give. I'm like, if you if you wanna go, if you wanna step, let's step all the way. If you wanna jump off the diving board, don't bitch out halfway through. Follow through. There's so much hair in my feet. Beauty is pain, and you know, bangs are beauty. She's yelling in my face, I'm yelling back at her, and I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Don't ask me. I don't know if she rose her hand to hit me. I think she did. I think like she rose her hand like she was finna hit me. And you know when I said fight or flight? A bitch wasn't feeling like fight no more. I was like, ain't no choice but the fly in this house. So I ran. I was like, well, and I mind you, this is a shoebox of a fucking apartment. It's literally this fucking big. So I run, I'm running. I'm running, bitch. Mind you, my sister is sitting on the couch with my brother. 
brother. Watch the whole shit happen. We're not even gonna discuss. He could, you know, we already know my sister is a loving bystander. She'll watch some shit happen and won't say a damn thing. Anyway, my sibling Louie sit on the couch watching as I'm running. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? And then I run. So mind you, I'm up against the door, right? Like up against the front door because I try. That's what happened. I tried to open the door. Like I tried to unlock the door and open. I tried to go outside and then she ran up on me and she pushed the door shut and that's how she ended up in my face that's what the fuck happened and then we started yelling and shit and i think she like tried to hit me or something i took off running because you're not gonna hit me i'm not gonna sit here and let you hit me no no so i took off running right i ran into the back room this motherfucker is chasing me i said you are too old to be running when i run off you leave me alone you leave me be you go take your crooked ass knees and you go sit the fuck down in your damn rocking chair and you go knit me a damn sweater that's what you go do don't fucking chase me around that's what make no damn sense so she chased me to the back room and there was a uh there's a bed back there so she chased me the room's small as fuck bro i'm talking about the if the if the apartment itself is this big her room is like this fuck the the back room is this fucking be So I run in that bitch, she chased me. I said, oh shit. But she was standing in the door. You see what I'm saying? So if the bed was like in the middle of the room and the door's right here, she's standing here, the bed is right here. I ran around and then she chased, her problem was she moved from in front of the door. She like, she ran across, like she ran and like chased me like around the bed. Bitch, I jumped over the fucking bed, shoes and all. I think I had, no idea, I was barefoot. I ran, I jumped across the bed, I dart out the door. Fast as fuck. Mind you, I'm 12 and scared. Skinny. And she's like 57 and kind of big. There's no way you 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 keeping up with me. Cause you can't. Cause you never could. So I'm running. I run and I hurry. I run to the door. I hurry up and unlock the door. And I dart out. Period. And I dart out into the midst of the fucking night. No, I'm playing. I dart out into like the parking lot. And then in the parking lot, I see my mom, my best friend sitting in the car. Bro, I remember running out. I was like, she's crazy. She's crazy. My mom heard me the car. She was like, what is going on? And then here come my girl telling my son, you are so disrespectful. Get back here. Oh, pretty much like, how could you talk to me and treat me like that? And how you gonna disrespect me in my own house? And yada, yada, yada. I was like, girl, it never gave the girls disrespect. It gave very much inquiring minds want to know. And you wasn't trying to help my inquiry. I'm out there and my mom's like what's going on and then I'm like she literally just chased me out the house and I was like all I did was ask her why the door was like she's acting like this and then she tried to lie and be like no the way she talked to me was reckless and pretty much she needs to watch her mouth when she talks to me and she was getting real disrespectful and I'm like Wow, yeah, piece together your story because it sounds like bullshit. And then I'm just like, bro. So I'm literally, it's literally me, my mom in the middle, and my grandma. I'm like, it's never supposed to be like this. Like, this don't make no goddamn sense. Anyway, so that blows over. I didn't talk to that lady for a fat minute because don't ever talk to me again in your life. And I don't know what happened. I think she ended up coming to me and like, you can't ignore me forever or something like that. Like, yes, the fuck I can. Who are you again? I forgot who you are already. Anyway, a few years later, she ended up staying with us you know karma karma flipped on that ass she ended up coming to stay with us and i remember we had like this big sit down or whatever and i had brought it up to her it was really like maybe like three years after it happened i brought it up to her i was like you remember when you did this and this motherfucking what is it called gaslight gatekeep girl boss bitch she was literally and like she didn't know what the fuck i was talking about what what huh I don't know what you're talking about but if i apologize are, uh, can we not bring this up anymore i said so you know what i'm talking about you just don't want me to talk about it to you because you're embarrassed and i'll be embarrassed too at your jurassic park ass fucking age so what the fuck i cuss way too much you know it's crazy but i think about it like this i hate people telling me not to cuss you want to know why i hate that because don't don't try to censor me when cuss words are literally just words fuck you out of the mouth of a sailor and suck my dick so yeah. yeah i don't talk to her anymore i used to be her favorite i think she found out that i was a little and she was like oh i can't really you know that's against that's like that's against god anyway so i'm pretty much i don't talk to my grandma at all not because of that but because if I, i'm gonna be honest if i were to sit here and tell you all this shit this lady has done to me we'd be sitting here for a cool ass fucking minute you know i even it even came to a point where i was like man i kind of hate her but you know hate is a strong word i'm gonna say i don't like her i'm gonna say that hate is a strong word she's pushing pedo what the fuck does that even mean <laughs> well 
yeah that just about wraps up the story i know the video was kind of short but to be honest i would have made this a three for video because y'all know how i do but it's four o'clock in the morning i'm tired and i've been going through it so we're, we should all be lucky that i'm even posting at all because to be honest that i want to be more consistent on here because i actually like i like so many youtube ideas or whatever i just don't have the energy nor motivation to fucking do it and i'm trying to figure it out you know they're with the girls period anyway um, that's just about rest of this video. Don't forget to create your own happiness. And I will see you next time I decide to literally trauma dump on camera. Cause what the fuck, bro? To be honest, y'all don't even need to know my business like that. But I love you so much and I want us to be like sisters almost. Sisters, cousins, besties, if you will. So, you know. I don't know. Bye. Ah.